His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa al-Khalifa received a written letter from the Sultan of Oman, His Majesty Sultan Haytham bin Tariq, which included a brotherly invitation to His Majesty to visit Oman, in addition to the outstanding brotherly relations between the two countries. The letter was delivered to His Majesty the King by the Ambassador of Oman to Bahrain, Faisal bin Harib bin Hamad al Busaidi, during His Majesty's reception of the Ambassador at Safriya Palace. During the meeting, His Majesty the King affirmed the depth of the historical relations between Bahrain and Oman and the development of cooperation and joint coordination at all levels for the benefit of their people. His Majesty hailed the pioneering role of His Majesty Sultan Haytham in supporting and enhancing Bahraini Omani relations, wishing Oman further development and progress and its people prosperity under His Majesty Sultan Haytham's wise leadership. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Sofia Palace the Saudi Speaker of the Shura Council, Sheikh Dr. Abdullah bin Mohammed bin Ibrahim Al Al Sheikh, and his accompanying delegation to greet His Majesty on the occasion of his visit to Bahrain following an official invitation from the Speaker of the Representatives Council. His Majesty welcomed the Saudi Shura Council Speaker. He conveyed to His Majesty the King the greetings and appreciation of the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud and the Saudi Crown Prince and Prime Minister, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, and the wishes of continued progress and prosperity for Bahrain. His Majesty the King asked him to convey his greetings to the custodian of the two holy mosques and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, and his wishes of abundant health and happiness to the custodian of the two holy mosques and a further advancement and prosperity to the Saudi people. His Majesty the King affirmed his pride in historical deep-rooted relations between Bahrain and Saudi Arabia and the high level of cooperation and coordination have been reached at all levels to achieve the interests and aspirations of the two peoples. His Majesty expressed appreciation and pride in the good endeavours of the custodian of the two holy mosques in bolstering the historical ties between the two kingdoms. His Majesty the King also hailed the important role of the Shura and Representatives Council in Bahrain and the Saudi Shura Council in strengthening the bonds of kinship and brotherhood between the two brotherly peoples and supporting the developmental process in the two countries. His Majesty commended the signing of a Memorandum of Understanding between the Bahraini Representatives Council and the Saudi Shura Council to bolster cooperation and the exchange of expertise and experiences at the legislative and parliamentary levels and coordinate stances in various regional and international parliamentary events. For his part, the Saudi Shura Council Speaker expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for the warm welcome and generous hospitality, healing His Majesty's keenness and strengthening fraternal ties between the two countries. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, expressed his pride in His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's recognition of the efforts of the government's ministries and public sector entities, pivotal role in ensuring the success of Ashura. His Royal Highness added that Ashura's success is a testament to the Kingdom's strong social fabric, which continues to strengthen in line with the principle of respect of all faiths and religions. His Royal Highness noted that the efforts carried out by the various government agencies affirm the commitment of each member of the Team Bahrain to succeed in the various tasks entrusted to them. His Royal Highness expressed gratitude and appreciation to every individual across all government agencies and organising bodies for the assistance in ensuring the success of Ashura, commending their ongoing cooperation as one team. His Royal Highness highlighted the efforts of government agencies led by the Ministry of Interior and Jaffrey Wakf Council, including the heads of Mathams and Husseiniyas, supervising committees and volunteers for their joint cooperation, commitment and efforts in ensuring a successful Ashura. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, delivered a statement on the occasion of the upcoming 13th edition of the Youth City 2030 events, organised by the Ministry of Youth Affairs, in cooperation with Tamkeen, which will begin on the 21st of July at the Exhibition World Bahrain. His Highness Sheikh Nasser affirmed that empowering the youth 
building their capabilities and providing them with further experiences in light of the requirements of the labour market is a priority for the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports in light of the royal vision of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al-Khalifa to enhance the youth's participation and empowerment. He noted the interest of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister in the Bahraini youth and the prioritisation in national action. His Highness stated that the youth are being prepared from now, affirming the endeavour to provide the required tools that enable them to continue achieving success. He stated that the Youth City 2030 is one of the initiatives that prepare the youth for the future, adding that since its launch, its outputs have proved a success. His Highness Sheikh Nasser invited the Bahraini youth to invest in the training opportunities provided by Youth City 2030. National Security Advisor, Royal Guard Commander, Major General His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa attended the 15th edition of the Aspen Security Forum, which is held in the USA from the 16th to the 18th this month. His Highness Sheikh Nasser stressed the keenness of His Majesty the King to perpetuate the values of dialogue, peace and coexistence among peoples through many lofty royal initiatives that affirm the role of Bahrain in establishing peace and His Majesty's affirmation of the Kingdom's adoption of peace. His Highness Sheikh Nasser praised the role and interest of the Government of Bahrain, headed by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, in unifying efforts and joint work in combating terrorism. The forum aims to enhance dialogue and cooperation among global decision makers, senior officials and thought and media leaders to promote a better understanding of security issues. His Highness Sheikh Nasser praised the content provided by the forum and the multiple topics related to national security, combating terrorism, network security, intelligence, defence, policy and international relations. The forum discusses many issues on the security and military sides as the year 2024 represents a pivotal moment for individual empowerment and collective cooperation, in addition to reviewing new and innovative ways of cooperating across the government, private, industry and civil society to address these challenges that aim to establish security, peace and prosperity in countries, especially in light of the challenges. The forum also provides a platform for policy makers, experts and the public to engage in discussions about the most pressing security challenges facing the United States and the world. The event typically includes keynote speeches, panels and interviews with prominent figures in the national security community. The Speaker of the Representatives Council, Ahmed Amr Salim, and the Saudi Speaker of the Shura Council, Sheikh Dr. Abdullah bin Mohammed bin Ibrahim Al Al Sheikh, held talks in light of the joint parliamentary cooperation. During the meeting, the two sides hailed historical, deep rooted Bahraini Saudi relations and the strategic partnership. They expressed appreciation and gratitude for the Saudi Bahraini role in serving the Gulf. Arab, Islamic, regional, international and humanitarian issues and the prominent efforts in strengthening the values and principles of tolerance and peaceful coexistence and the endeavour to achieve sustainable development. The two sides affirm the support of cooperation between the two countries, the efforts of the Saudi Bahraini Coordination Council and commendation of the decisions and recommendations of the 33rd Arab Summit the developmental initiatives of the Bahrain Declaration and Bahrain's hosting of the International Peace Conference in the region. During the session, a memorandum of understanding was signed aimed at strengthening joint interests in the fields of sustainable development, the anticipation of future, innovation, exchange of knowledge and diplomatic experiences, continuation of consultation and coordination in issues of common interest and holding meetings on parliamentary coordination. The Shura Council Chairman Ali Al Saleh received the Saudi Speaker of the Shura Council, Sheikh Dr Abdullah bin Mohammed bin Ibrahim Al Al Sheikh, and his accompanying delegation. Al Saleh affirmed that the deep rooted relations between Bahrain and Saudi Arabia are growing with a fraternal and strategic depth and are rising through the close ties that unite the two kingdoms. Al Saleh expressed pride in the firm support for the partnerships and sustainable development between the kingdoms. Al Saleh noted the active and strategic role played by Saudi Arabia in supporting the achievement of stability and peace in the region and its keenness to support all efforts and endeavours in advancing Arab and Islamic issues, stressing that Saudi Arabia constitutes the backbone of the region 
with its continuous initiatives and positive roles in supporting Arab security and national level of countries in the region. He praised the parliamentary cooperation and bilateral visits between the Shura councils in Bahrain and Saudi Arabia and the keenness by the members of the two councils to exchange ideas and visions regarding the topics and issues that are discussed in regional and international parliamentary conferences and gatherings. Al Saleh presented a copy of a book that documents the council's achievements during the five legislative terms, which was prepared by Al Saleh's advisor, Dr. Fazia al -Jib. The Saudi Speaker of the Shura Council expressed pride in the process of joint achievements and bilateral successes achieved by Saudi Arabia and Bahrain, stressing the visit comes within the framework of ongoing endeavour to strengthen the ties, the common relations between the two kingdoms. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr Abdul Latif Al Ziani, delivered Bahrain's address as the President of the current Arab Summit at the UN Security Council's open debate on the situation in the Middle East, including the Palestinian question. The Minister affirmed that Bah the Bahrain Declaration, issued at the 33rd Arab Summit, headed by His Majesty the King, affirmed the United Arab situation that calls for a just and comprehensive peaceful settlement of the Palestinian question. He stated that the Middle East has suffered over the past decades devastating wars, conflicts and disputes which have caused losses in lives, property and infrastructure and violated international laws and conventions. The 33rd Arab Summit that was held in the Kingdom of Bahrain last May under the chairmanship of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa King of the Kingdom of Bahrain. That summit reaffirmed the firm Arab position on the Palestinian-Israeli conflict and proved beyond any doubt that Arab states have collectively adopted the second path, the path of a just and lasting peace as an irreplaceable strategic option if we are to achieve our humanitarian objectives in the battle for peace. And in its capacity as the current president of the 33rd session of the League of Arab States, the Kingdom of Bahrain participates in today's meeting of the Council, and we have come to reaffirm the full solidarity of the Arab states and their unwavering commitment to peace. The Bahrain Declaration adopted by the summit affirmed the unified Arab position calling for a just and comprehensive, peaceful resolution of the Palestinian question and calling for irreversible steps to implement the two-state solution in accordance with the resolutions of international legitimacy and to guarantee the legitimate rights of the Palestinian people to establish their independent, sovereign and viable national state. The Bahrain Summit was a message of peace and solidarity to the whole world. The summit adopted a number of important initiatives. Most notably, it called for convening an international conference for peace in the Middle East to resolve the Palestinian issue on the basis of the two-state solution. The Kingdom of Bahrain expressed its readiness to host such a conference. It also supports the full recognition of the State of Palestine and its admission to full membership in the United Nations, providing educational and health services to those affected by conflicts and wars in the region. This must be done in cooperation and coordination with international and regional organizations and develop Arab cooperation in the field of fintech innovation and digital transformation. The Minister of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Waqf, Nawaf al muada issued Edict 59 of 2024, setting a date for the by-elections for the membership of the Representatives Council in the first constituency of the Muharraq Governorate, which is now vacant. 
The first article of the edict stated that the names on the voters in implementation of the provisions of the Decree Law 14 of 2002 to begin the procedure of exercising political rights in the first electoral constituency in Maharic Governorate are invited to attend the headquarters of the polling and sorting committees to elect a member of the Council of Representatives for that constituency on Saturday, September 7, 2024, from 8am until 8pm, and in cases that require re-election, it will take place on Saturday, the September the 14th, 2024, from 8 a.m. until 8 p.m. According to the edict, election for that constituency is taking place in the embassies, consulates and Bahraini diplomatic missions abroad on Tuesday, the September the 3rd, 2024. And in cases that require re-election, it will take place on Tuesday, September the 10th, 2024. The second article stipulated that a nomination for the membership of the Council for the first constituency will start on Saturday, August the 10th, 2024, until Monday, August the 12th, 2024, provided that applications for nomination are submitted to the competent committee. Justice Islamic Affairs and Endowments Minister and Election General Supervisor Supreme Committee Chairman Nauf al Muada appointed Legislation and Legal Opinion Commission Chairman Chancellor Nawaf Abdullah Hamza as the new Executive Director for By-Elections for the Parliament's membership of Maharik's first constituency. The Justice Minister stated that the Executive Director is responsible for supervising all administrative and technical work necessary to prepare for the by-elections for Parliament's membership in the vacant district. The Justice Minister assigned the newly appointed Executive Director to appoint the necessary employees to assist the election committees according to the needs of each committee. The Minister of Justice, Islamic Affairs and WAF, Chairman of the Supreme Committee for the General Supervision of the Integrity of the Representatives Council election, Nafal Moada, issued Edict 60 of 2024, appointing members of the Supreme Committee for the election of a member of the Representatives Council in a vacant constituency. The members are Judge Mazuma Abdul Razul Isa Mohammed, Councillor Wal Rashid Khalila Bu Ale, Councillor Dr. Ahmed Mohammed Ali Al Hamadi, Judge Ali Ahmed Juma Al Kabi. According to the edict, the committee is concerned with the general supervision of the integrity of the election of a member of the Representatives Council in a vacant constituency, especially deciding all matters presented by the committee, stipulated in Article 7 of Decree Law 14 of 2002 to begin the procedure of exercising political rights. It also announces the result of the election in that constituency and notifies the winner. The edict also stipulated that an executive committee shall assist the Supreme Committee in all the tasks necessary for the electoral process. The Minister of Justice, Islamic Affairs and WAF also issued Edict 61 of 2024, forming the committee to supervise the integrity of the election of members of the Representatives Council in a vacant constituency. According to the decision, the committee will be formed in accordance with Article 7 of Decree Law 14 of 2002 regarding the exercise of political rights. If the chairman of the committee or one of its members is absent, it shall be replaced by the chairman or one of the alternate members, whose names are listed in Table No. 2 attached to the edict. The committee is the, is in the edict is responsible for preparing the list of voters in the vacant electoral constituency receiving applications for candidacy in that constituency, examining them, preparing a list of candidates, and considering requests and objections related to any decision or action issued by it. The committee is responsible for supervising the safety of electing a member of the Representatives Council in the region and the vacant electoral constituency within its jurisdiction. The Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan received the credentials of Bahrain's ambassador to Turkey, Basim Ahmed Ali Mazouk, during an official ceremony held at the presidential complex in Ankara. The ambassador conveyed to the Turkish President the greetings of His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa, and their wishes of abundant health and happiness and a further growth and prosperity for Turkey. He affirmed the importance of enhancing bilateral relations for the interest of the two peoples. 
For his part, the Turkish president asked the ambassador to convey his greetings to His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, and his wishes of development and advancement for Bahrain. He congratulated the ambassador on his appointment, wishing him success in his diplomatic duties to serve bilateral relations at all levels. The Bahrain Free Labour Unions Federation celebrates the 12th anniversary of its establishment on July the 18th. Bahrain has achieved success stories in the field of labour support with the aim of promoting sustainable development and social justice. The success of successes come as a result of the reform project of His Majesty the King, the pioneering project whose approach is adopted by the government, headed by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister which contributed to achieving further development and economic prosperity for the country. Bahrain is considered a pioneer in launching a law and system for unemployment insurance, in addition to many initiatives to promote the employment of national skills. Bahrain Summer Toy Festival continues to receive visitors through many entertainments and interactive activities and programmes that meet the various interests and will run until August the 30th. The festival offers a wonderful integrated and unprecedented experience to enjoy summer events in the Kingdom of Bahrain through water and sports activities, arts and culture, paths, food tasting and shopping experiences. <laughs> 